Hey guys, I'm Alex from Atomic Rabbit, a new game developer currently working on a new indie game called Backup Battles. It's an online multiplayer game in which you will need to fight with your team as a variety of cool characters to defeat the other team's bases while you protect your own. You can see the devlogs I made about the process of development of the characters for the game. I'll put them in the right corner of the video and also in the description. So go check them out. In this devlog, I will show you the weekly process of the game. As you saw in the previous devlogs, we already made the rigs for the characters. So we started to make animations for the basic movement. We decided to first make all the basic animations for Amon, the tank. This is because this way we can check if we did something wrong with the rigs, or in the animations, or something else, and don't make the same mistake for all the characters. So we did the idle, the walk cycle, run cycle, jump, light attack, and heavy attack. We did the animations in Maya. Before integrating the animations, I did a script for the character movement. I did it with a character controller component and a Cinemachine camera. I will use this same script for all the characters, so I made the variables public to change them according to each character in the inspector. We can change the walk speed, run speed, jump height, gravity and some other things. After the script, I added the animator to the character to add the animations. I made all the connections and another script just in charge of playing the animations according to the variables in the movement script. Also I changed the controls in the input system to use an Xbox controller. And this is how it looks. Before finishing this movement script with these animations, I also tried to put them in a blend tree to make the character focus where the camera is looking at. So I added the running backwards animations and the side run. But in the end, we decided to change it like it was in the beginning. Because with these animations and movement, we cannot see the whole character from the front or any other perspective. And we really like to see the characters in 360 degrees, not just the back of the character. So we stayed with the previous movement. Also, for the attack animations, I did a different layer with a mask affecting only the upper body. Here I added the light and heavy attack animations. And I made the mistake and made the swords as a parent of the AFK bones of the hands. But I had to make the parent to the original bone that isn't IKOFK. So I stayed hours figuring out why. Why? <laughs> why is this happening? until I saw the regular bones in the rig, and it worked. The idea for the attacks of Amon is that the light attack are just two slashes with the swords, and the heavy attack will be a movement with the two swords, and when he puts the swords down, he will dash to the direction he's facing, and leave a half moon figure damaging the enemies. Then, in order to test the other characters, I did a simple character selection screen. I made the prefabs for the other characters and added them to the game manager. Now we can test all of them. You already saw Amon. Then it's Ki, the warrior. She's faster than Amon and we already made these animations you see, but we are missing some others. But we can already see and feel the movement of each character even without the animations. What we plan for the attacks of Ki is that the light attack will be some slashes with the sword. Also if she's in the air falling or jumping, and you attack, she will go down with a vertical slash. And for the heavy attack, we have some ideas. Maybe we will make like a tornado, slashing everything in the radius of the character. Then for Bob, we also have some animations, but not all of them. But we have this beautiful face. Amazing. He will have the ability to jump really high and will be faster than Key. And finally, Mac 5 already has the movement, but she doesn't have any animations yet. She will be the fastest character. These are not the final values for the speed or jump height. I will change it when the animations are integrated, but for now we can put them that way to get the feel. Also, I didn't say anything, but the environment is just a test level with some free assets from the Unity Asset Store. The real environments won't be like this. <laughs> you will see them later on. And that's it for this weekly progress. Stay tuned for the next week's devlog. Please subscribe and click on the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of the next videos and leave me a thumbs up if you like the video. Let me know in the comments what you think of the progress and maybe some feedback or ideas. You can also find me on social media as Atomic Rabbit. I'll leave the links in the description. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.